Hey everybody, welcome back to another product uh, review unboxing. I, I don't know what to call these things, but as you guys know, I'm obsessed with my Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's reawakened my love of Nintendo. Love Xbox, love PlayStation, especially PSVR, but I am apparently a Nintendo fanboy <laughs> and proud of it. So, the Super Mario Odyssey came out. I think the game is amazing. I know some people have some problems with it, but I think it's amazing. It's everything I ever wanted it to be, and I am just so enjoying it. And, of course, I bought some extra accessories. Some of these I bought on the Switch launch night, or the Mario launch night, and the other I picked up later. But I thought we'd open these together and see what we think. So, of course, these are all from Power A. And of course they are Nintendo Switch licensed, and they are all Super Mario and Odyssey. So of course we have the little Comfort Grip Joy controller, and we have two of the wired controllers, the wired plus controllers, ooh, fancy. Um, so we'll get to these, uh, but we want to start here, and then we're gonna take an in-depth look at this, because these will basically be the same, and then we'll check out the art up close and personal on that at the end. So let's just dive right in here, and uh, let's start taking a look. Oh crap, I gotta have my... Gotta get my kniff out. <laughs> and uh, there we go, slice that, slice that. So, um, I have only played with the individual Joy-Cons or in handheld mode or on a grip. Um, and I have played with the grip that comes with the switches, but I've also been playing with these Power A Comfort Grips. And I do prefer these, I will be honest with you. I actually prefer these quite a bit. Um, I mean, again, the, the ones that come with them are not bad. These comfort grips, they do feel a little bit better. So we got some awesome art going on there with, of course, Mario looking up at Cappy and loving some Cappy. You get the nice little red and black going on there, which is kind of cool, too, in case you're interested in any of that stuff. I mean, there's not really much to these. Uh, I guess I could grab some Joy-Cons and slide them in there. Uh, if I was smart, I would have had my Mario Joy-Cons out. But I guess here, we'll give, first let's give you side by side. See, now I'm smart. These are not the Mario Joy-Cons, these are the neon red ones. I know it's hard to tell on the camera sometimes. But you can see uh, quite a size difference there. You can also see a width difference in um, you know that stuff coming out a little bit, especially at the top. And of course we can just slide these right on out. And we'll slide them in. Let's see if this has the problem that a lot of these do have though with the, the, the uh, left side Joy-Con. It can be a little tricky to get in and uh, no, that one's actually better than the one I have. I have a plain red one from Power A, but that moves pretty smooth. Now you see the color difference, but that's because these are the neon ones. This does look like this is actually Mario Red, but those are way in another room. So they just slide in and it just, I mean, it feels good. It feels comfortable. You know, I could play it this way for hours and hours and be totally fine. And again, that's comparing it to a standard switch grip that is included in the system. So cool. Okay, now let's take a look at the Wired Controller Plus. So, I have not actually tried the Pro Controller at all, and um, this will be very similar. It won't be, it'll be different, but similar. So I can't really give you a co comparison. I was really just trying to hold out for, you know, um, some colorized or painted or something other than just the gray, the dull gray uh, Pro Controller. So maybe the Xenoblade Chronicles one. I know there was a Splatoon one, but it never actually released in America. So, you know, bummer there. I guess actually I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited to try this because I've never actually held anything close to the Pro Controller. So this will give me some idea. But let's look around the box real quick before I get in there. Because <laughs> some of you guys actually like to read all these details. Nice, nice, nice. I do love the color schemes on this. Uh, this is a common one. I picked this up at Best Buy. I've seen it in other places, Walmarts, all that kind of stuff. The wired ones are $30. And if I'm in my bedroom, I'm sitting close enough to my Switch dock that that's not a problem. Now, I imagine you can only use two of these, though, because there's only the two external USB ports. All right, so you get a pretty nice long cable, and it does have this um, the Velcro. So, you know, basically you can take out a little bit of the cable, and then you can re-secure it like a cable tie. Oh, man, that is a sizable cable, too. That's probably like a 10 foot cable. It may tell me in the instructions or something. I don't think it said on the box. Um, I'll take a look once I get this kind of put back together. <laughs> I'm very, very glad they included the uh, the zip tie or the, uh, the, the Velcro bit because that is a lot of cabling and that'll be more than I actually need. Um, six foot, oh no, six interchangeable caps, 10 foot removable USB cable. Okay, cool, that's what I figured. Uh, we have some instruction stuff in there, or I guess, you know, just your basic user, user manual stuff in the various languages. So you connect to the dock, you connect to the controller, change the analog caps to whatever you like, and then you got some FAQ stuff there if you guys wanna check that out. 
Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we pull up the flaps. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. And it just comes out like it's in its own little basket. That's pretty cool. See, nothing else down in there. Oops, all right. So, slide that to the side. We have caps. We already have some caps on there. Nothing else in there, just cardboard. Oh, that, okay. Oh. Yeah, that feels pretty good. We got the plus and minus up there, the home and the, hmm. I'm kind of excited to play with this. I think I still may like this better. I mean, at least than this. I don't know. All right, let's take a little up close look at the art. You got some like coins and stars and flowers, fire flowers in there. I assume there's some mushrooms somewhere. There's a nice little Mario. Well, I guess because it's like Odyssey, they're not really doing mushrooms. Kind of a heart. Got the question box, some other just brick blocks in there. Nice. I like that though, I really do like that art. And it doesn't go all the way around, so you just gotta got the red and black. So, this is kinda nice though, that you have interchangeable caps that are basically different heights. So, you know, it takes a little bit more to roll it around than it does um, with smaller ones, or you know. <laughs> so you can kind of adjust it to your liking. So that's pretty cool. I have to look at the instructions though. I don't want to rip this out and, you know, break something. So those don't feel bad though. Those feel pretty nice. Also what's interesting is um, they have different like tops and you can mix and match these. So that's pretty cool. Especially I imagine it's kind of one size fits all with these. So if you buy multiple wire wired controllers from Pro, Pro A, you can, uh, cause you know, you have concave and convex, one each for each size it looks like. So that's pretty cool, although these are both indented, so interesting. Okay, but that does feel pretty good. I'll be excited to actually try that out as an actual controller. I doubt I have time tonight, but maybe this week before we, before we head out, so. Okay, well very cool, I'm pretty happy with this so far. But now let's just check out the sweet art on the GameStop exclusive, to my understanding, specifically Super Mario Odyssey. That'll be pretty cool. So essentially the box should be pretty much the same. It's got all the same stuff. So this one won't take as long with, but in case there's anything you do want to see there, I will show it to you. All right, so we'll cut through the tape. I think this might've been my, my GameStop's last one. I did not buy this on launch night. I got it like the next day because I went back for more stuff. And I'm glad I did because they had a they had the Super Smash Brothers Link Amiibo back in stock. I was like, what? Sweet. Okay, come on. Come on, little Flappy. Come on, Flappy, don't make me get cappy. <laughs> I'm not funny, I know. All right, again, same deal with the cable. That's pretty awesome. Pull up the flaps. I know there's instructions in there. I'll get to them, whatever. And just dump it out. There we go. All right, we're here for the artwork. Oh, that's nice. I do wish it was maybe a tiny bit glossier, but still, that's pretty cool. It definitely is exactly the same controller. Feels exactly the same. Of course, you have kind of the light look of the map of all the kingdoms, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm glad I got it. Now I just need to get some pro controllers. But again, I, I want like colorful. Like that's back in the N64 days. I loved you could get all these various color controllers. And then all your friends could be like, well, I'm always this color and I'm always that color and I'm always this one. I don't know. I just, I know it's silly. It's all the same controller, but there's something just really fun about that. Cool, man. All right, well, there you guys go. That is my uh, Super Mario Odyssey uh, accessory unboxing, I guess is what we should call it. Sure, all things from Power A, pretty happy with that. They're, they're pretty good. I, I like the Nyko the Nike stuff a little bit better. I don't think they make controllers, though. Maybe they do. I haven't tried the Hori controller either, though, but whatever. You're, maybe I'll get to it eventually. Maybe I'll make you guys a video. But let me know. What do you guys think about it? If you're a Switch fan, what's your favorite controller so far? You like Joy-Cons? You like Joy-Cons in the included grip and a comfort grip and a, um, you know, and a charging grip? Do you like the wired controllers, the pro controllers? What's your favorite? Let me hear what you guys have to say. Maybe I'll take some cues from you and learn a little bit. Other than that, though, you guys can just go ahead and, well, drop me some comments. I'd love to hear. Also, are you digging Mario? What's your favorite Switch game? Those are fun things to talk about as well. Other than that, though, you can click that thumbs up button. You can give me that good old thumb of encouragement if it's not too sore from uh, playing Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> you know, got the Nintendo thumb going on. Because uh, I do like to be encouraged, is what I like to say. Okay, well, I guess that's about it. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully go play some games. And then I'll open up some more stuff. And I'll see you all later. Later.